Okay. Uh, hello, everybody. Thank you for having me on this uh, panel. I would like to actually start this speech by thanking uh, all of the organizers of the IOI for having me, but especially I want to thank Giorgio, who is over there, and also Laszlo for the invaluable help that they have given me over the uh, summer in order to prepare everything we had to do, including the speech and also the new websites and the other projects we have been working on over the years. Their help has been uh, very important, and uh, I hope that with this speech, I will convince as many of you to join our project in the future. Uh, first off, I would like to start by uh, talking about what the contest is. So the International Informatics Olympiad in Teams, also known as IOT, is a team Olympiad in informatics that uh, started six years ago in Italy, and ever, uh, ever since more than a dozen countries joined uh, over the years in the competitions. And it's a contest that involves teams of four students with, who can use two computers. And during the school year, we prepare a monthly contest from November to February. Then we have the national finals around March, and then the international finals that take place uh, around May, usually. And uh, what's uh, very important and very nice about our young and innovative project is that the way we conduct these contests is very friendly to every nation that wants to join. As earlier on, I think it was Brian who was mentioning that the possibility of having contests with multiple countries around the world. And in a way, our contest is a contest that fits this criteria. So uh, it's also a way to invite uh, him in Asia and everyone else, actually. And what's uh, very nice, as I was mentioning earlier, is that during the rounds, we have a global team that works, with, that works to prepare the tasks. So we have people from every country that's part of the IoT. And the main advantage of doing this is that uh, we end up creating many high quality tasks of all levels as one of our main goals is to ensure that we grow the national competitive stages around uh, competitive programming stages around the world and this means that we need to cater to the needs of both the more experienced contestants who can view these contests as a way to further develop their skills and to practice for the contests while also uh, for the less experienced contestants that uh, uh, can start out and uh, can get guys. Oh. oh, yeah, you can go. I, I'm not sure. Oh, <laughs> yeah, sorry. I, yeah, I, okay. Uh, one second. Uh, how does this work? It, uh, oh, what? Oh. Okay. Yeah, so. Okay, yeah, sorry, I didn't realize I could use this. <laughs> okay, yeah, as I was mentioning earlier about the teams that, uh, the teams are of up to four students from, uh, uh, they have to be from the same school or club or organization. In a way, the uh, purpose of this rule is to make sure that uh, we encourage as many communities as possible to start from developing maybe even just a local competitive programming or computer science club uh, around their, let's say, town or school or region. It's something that uh, can bring uh, a lot of improvement and can change actually even communities. Uh, so this is uh, the purpose of this rule, while also ensuring that uh, the best contestants also develop uh, very important skills such as leadership and teaching. And they, by doing this, they make sure to bring more people into the competitive programming world. As I was telling about the problems, that uh, we have our global team that uh, uh, prepares the problems and we have representatives from every country. And one really interesting and uh, very important aspect to our, the success we had so far is that uh, we have a lot of experience when it comes to preparing problems. And also, uh, many people who are nowadays in these scientific committees, in the problem setting committees, have been former contestants of IoT, including myself, actually. So in a way, we foster further growth by catering to 
the ever-changing needs of the Olympiads in informatics and the ever-changing uh, increase in difficulty which uh, we, we do our best to accommodate in order to serve as a good preparation for the contest. Uh, for the contest. The national selection, as I was telling uh, you earlier, we have rounds uh, from November to February. So every, every month uh, we have a new problem set. And what's very good about this setup is that it, the organizing uh, efforts in order to conduct this contest in our country are actually very minimal at, for the qualification rounds and even the national rounds as the four qualifying rounds are held online and given our international team's efforts to prepare problems, everyone who wants to join can use these problems in order to select their contestants as long as the contests are given at the same time in order to ensure fair play and correctness. So a very good way for uh, your nations to improve yeah, uh, your Olympia strategies and practice uh, by using these problems. Also, the national finals, which again are uh, hosted in such a way that we try to coordinate our schedules so that we can prepare the best problems that's possible. And uh, they usually what happens is that the best uh, teams from each country uh, give this contest. For example, in Romania it's 10 teams, in other countries it's more or less teams or different criteria. But in short, the goal is to select the best teams that go to the international round, which takes every year in a different place. I, I will quickly uh, show you uh, our efforts throughout the years as it's a project that we have been developing every year except unfortunately for 2020, the year of the pandemic when everything was uh, basically uh, moved online or in lockdown so there was a break. But for the first edition took place in Bologna in Italy. As I was mentioning earlier, Italy is the founder of this Olympiad and they, their efforts with, teams, with Team Olympiads go back even to early 2010. So it's an, an effort that's been in making for actually a decade, but it's only been a few years since we moved this into the international stage with Italy, Romania, and Russia at first that founded the contest. Then over the years, uh, in 2018, uh, the Olympiad took place in Romania. It's actually my hometown, so <laughs> it was... Uh, it was quite a special event uh, personally. And over the years, we moved on to different venues here in 2019, the third edition. Unfortunately, 2020 was a very difficult year, but we didn't give up. And we used this as an opportunity to uh, develop new ideas. And as such, from 2021, uh, even though the contest took place online, we actually started working together as a team for setting problems. And ever since, our results got better and better in terms of uh, everything related to the contest, be it organization, number of teams, and so on. And this was in 2022 in Bologna. And uh, this year, the Olympia took place in Port Said in, in Egypt. So we already included uh, different venues from multiple continents. So we already, uh, we already grew even further. But again, as I was mentioning, it, it is a very promising format. We believe it's a very innovative format that can uh, be used by these countries, in, by your countries, in order to join our competition and to make it grow even further and to even stimulate uh, this collaboration with IOI as these problems from here can be used as very good practice for IOI and people can develop multiple different kinds of skills. Here we have our contacts. We, we have a new website and in the website the most important details are offered. And also we left uh, in the desks in the back a leaflet for each and every one of you where you can find the most important information you can contact us in order to join. And uh, if you have any other questions, please let us know. So thank you, Stefan. Th yeah, uh, I do not see questions, so thank, thank you. Thank you. Yeah, uh -huh. thank you so much for having, having Yes, me. and I wish that next uh, maybe in 
for next year you can write paper or some your results yeah, on like how you're doing. Yeah, it would be, uh, it would be a great opportunity. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. 